Once again, you're watching PJ Collection Clothing Online class, and in this video, I'll be showing us how to draft a collar that we use to fix in your button down shirt. With me here is a button down shirt that I've made, but what is left now is to fix this collar to it. Now, this collar can also be fixed to your normal senator top. If you don't want to use it in a button down, you can fix it to a senator top. So I'll show us on how to fix this now. There are so many approach or various methods in which we can use to fix or to work on your collar. Now, before we begin, I'll show us how to draft the collar that we use to fix on your button down shirt. Now, we we'll work on the collar and the collar stand. With me here, I have a pattern that I've already made that I use in fixing my button down. Now, this is a collar stand and this is a collar so i'll show us quickly show us how to draft this and you're drafting this on your collar gum stay take note you're drafting this on your collar gum stay if you don't have a collar gum stay, you can use a strong paper gum stay all right so the first thing you need to do is you get you mark a straight line mark a straight line the line can be as long as 10 inch we are drafting the collar stand. Okay, what I have here is 10 inch. Now, at this point, you slant down from this point. Take notes. Take me the first line you mark. You mark the straight line. Then you slant down a quarter inch. A quarter. You remember, at this point here is 10 inch. The length of our line here is 10 inch. Then you slant down a quarter inch from here. A quarter inch. Then you connect it back to your previous line. Connect this back. Connect this back to your previous line. Okay, so you arrive at this. Now watch carefully. You now make a curve from this point. Remember the length was 10 from that point. Make a curve like this down. And you stop at least a three-quarter. Look at this curve. You curve it down. Curve it down. Now you stop at this point. And now move this way. You move this way now from this point to this point it can be up to three quarter or one inch then you now take this backward you move this backward move this backward all right so at this stage i've done my collar stand this is a collar stand now the width of the collar stand here i have here should be about one one quarter take notes yeah one one quarter that is the width i used so the first thing we did there was we moved down by okay take notes the first thing we did we marked the straight line which is very straight as shown and we said it can be as long as 10 inch then from this point you slant down a quarter inch down then you now made a curve as shown made a curve like this and you move this way then you now move backward like shown now the width here we said the width here one one quarter inch all through so at this stage this is your collar stand now the next thing i'll be drafting is the collar itself remember you have the collar stand and the collar itself now the collar sits on the collar stands now there are different um um collar you have the one with a round neck you have the one in the form of an angle the one I'll be making will be in the form of a round shape at the collar top there. So now I'll be moving up from this point. From this point, I'll be slanting. Take a look. I'm slanting this way. And the slant there will be 3 inch. Take note. This slant there, I'm using 3 inch. Right? Then from there, I'll now make a curve using your curve rule down from here. Yeah, 3 inch. Remember, curving this way down. Hope we've seen. Remember from here, I slanted this way, 3 inch. Then from this 3 inch point, I used my hip curve and curved this down. So at this stage, I'm true with my collar stand. So this is my collar stand and this is my collar. So I'll now quickly cut off this. Remember I said there are so many approach that we can use in doing this. Whichever approach that is okay with you, fine cutting of this 
ओके ओके सो सो दिस इज व्हाट यू यूज टू फिक्स एनी कलर ऑफ योर चॉइस बीट द नेक्स्ट सेकंड फ्रेंड्स 20 ओके वी हैव दिस ओके नाउ कट आउट दिस एज़ वेल So at this stage, we now have our color and our color stand. Okay, so at this stage, I'm true with my color and color stand, the pattern. This is the pattern. I've showed us how to draft this. So this is the pattern I have. Now, I want to fix the color to the button down shirt I'm making. Now, the person's neck, the next circumference is 16. Take note, the next circumference is 16. The next circumference is 16. So I'll start with the color stand. Remember, this is your color stand. So what to do is you get your color gums that you want to use. This is your color gum stay, strong color gum stay. So you fold, you fold. Remember, the neck is 16. So you get your color gum stay. Now, if you take a look, when we're drafting, we we curve down this way, then we moved up to a little. This point here, from this point. This is where you take your measurement. So if your measurement, the next circumference is 16, half of 16 will be 8. Remember, the color gums will be on full. So half of 16 will be 8. Since the color gums will be on full, half of 16 will be 8. So this point this is where you stop. So let me do this. So you place this on the color gum stay. Remember, we said from this point here, you're taking it from this point here. So that will be 8. Now, you may be wondering why the excess, this other excess from here up, that is the overlapping. Remember, in your button down shirt, you have the part that goes for the button and the part that goes for the button holes. They will overlap. So that is this part here, that excess. So it is at this point you're taking your measurement, not starting from here. It's from this point here. You're taking your measurement. Watch carefully. It's from this point. So remember, it's it. Now watch at this down. As you can see it. So you place that, so you now draw, so you now draw this, you draw this out, you draw this out, okay, remember our next second friends is 18, I mean 16, 16 divided by 2 gives you 8, so alright, so we now have this. Now, the next thing I'll be placing is the collar itself. This is the collar stand. Remember, we're doing this on the collar gum stay. So you now pick up this. Remember, this point, take note, this point starts from here. Please take note, and not at this point. It starts from this point here, here. So you now place this as shown, like this. You place this as shown, starting from here. Remember, this other part is the overlapping, right? Now, I don't want this to be too fat, so I'll take it down a little. Wait, so I don't want the color to be that too big. So I'll take it and so I'll now carve from here. You carve from here. Carve from here. Please, you need to be careful while doing this. Okay. All right. So I have this. Now I said this point. I don't want it to be in form of a triangle. I want to carve this part. So I'll carve it this way. Watch carefully curve it this way down this is what i want so i quickly cut this out so this is what i'll be working with to fix to my collar to fix to my button down shirt remember i said you can also fix this to your native if you want to so i'm cutting this out cutting this curving this part circle like shape And coming this way, okay, right. So, at this stage, this is what to use to fix to uh, okay. So, this is what to use to fix. So, you now use this to gum it on the fabric that you want to use. This is to gum it on the fabric that you want to use. So, in our next video, I'll be showing us how to do that. Okay, so at this stage, I want to show us how to fix this to our button down. This is the color that we've made. So now I want to fix this to our button down. So to begin with, 
you start from the outside of your your top i'm starting from the outside take note i'm starting from the outside so this is the bigger part where you fix your body from the outside now look carefully watch carefully so you start this you make sure that the edge of this collar and that of this part they are equal so you sew and you stop at somewhere here then you continue from the other part and you sew to meet up where you stopped here so let's first of all sew this and stop at least three quarters three inch so i'll quickly sew from this point i'll sew from that point remember you're sewing from the good side and you now flip to the wrong side remember you sew and you stop halfway Okay, stop there. Stop there. Then you now take this. Watch carefully. Now continue from this other part. Take note. From this other part, this other part, you sew, and you move, and you continue down to where you sewed initially to meet up with the other first one there. So you sew again. Remember, you're sewing at the half inch, the quarter inch allowance that you kept on your collar. You're sewing at the quarter inch. So you're sewing this down. Down. You're sewing this, the neck, circumference, and that of the collar allowance that you keep allowed. So you're sewing down to meet up to the other part. Going down, 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 so you meet up to the other part. Remember, you sold and you stopped halfway there. So now continue from this other part. Now look at the stitch here. You meet up. Alright. So when we're through with that, alright, so watch carefully. You now turn this. Remember, this was the starting point. So you now cover the close this. You now flip this inside. So now close this. You now top stitch. Take a look. You close this. You now top stitch. And you sew round. Just trying to cover the We're trying to cover it. Remember after saying so flip it and cover. That is what we're trying to do now. can see from that point to so, so sew this round the neck so this is how easy and simple to fix your collar Just trying to sew this round the neck circumference. So at this stage, we're through fixing our collar. So this is how to fix your collar to so your collar. To your button down shirt or your senator top once again you're watching pj collection clothing online class